Hey guys, it is Monday, day six of my quarantine. And I, all I can say is it's been an interesting two days. Uh, I think yesterday, um, Sunday has been really stressful for me in the sense that um, a lot of things were happening and then there were a lot of measures uh, that the Australian government is gonna, was gonna do, like the possible lockdown and which it happened today. Padlock is about to snap shut on Sydney and the rest of the state as we go into an unprecedented lockdown that will transform everyday life for millions of us. I must say that Sunday has been really stressful thinking about family and so like, yeah, I, I, I guess it's one thing is that, you know, you're, you are worried about your, your family safety because you are here on a lockdown for six months and you can't go anywhere and and I do worry about my parents, I do worry about my family and hope everyone's okay because if anything happens, I can't go away for, for a six month period. And it was not only also because of the thinking about the family, but also making sure that I have enough essentials before the lockdown happens because um, I think it is just part of my psyche where I'm, I, I like to organize things, making sure that I have enough before the big event happens. And that's always been true my work and so my personal life and i think this is one thing i want to make sure that i have enough food and food supplies and um before the lockdown happens the last thing i wanted to be stuck in a situation where when i'm able to go out i can't i'll be queuing up for hours in you know outside in the line like the ones i've seen in in europe and so in america so i want just wanted to make sure that i have enough food supply for for that time Somehow, by the end of the day, everything took a toll on my body. I felt this, this stress, you know, broke down and, um, and I just felt like I just needed to rest early. So I just felt quite down and I just, yeah, kind of chill out by, by listening to music. I listened to music that I grew up with, music of the 90s. <laughs> so I listened to like uh, songs, uh, artists like Rick Price and Tina Arena. You know, thinking about those days, those simpler days where, where I was, uh, I was in college, I was doing my diploma, and um, you know, those nights when I spent time doing my assignments, and and those music were the ones that kept me strong and kept me going on to do my assignment, and and it's that sense of comfort that you know, the music helps to to uh, yeah to 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 ease everything and to make everything a bit calmer. While I can't change what's happening outside of me and it's just getting worse and worse every day uh, and people are confused people are losing their jobs and everything I, you know it's, it's a sad situation our lives have changed and we are in uncharted times so so while I can't control what's happening outside I you can just control my sense my my thoughts that I can be try to be as positive as possible so I got up um, you know I got a bit later than usual uh, which is not normal for me because usually I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning or even 5 in the morning uh, but I got up at uh, 9 <laughs> when things happen so fast and so much and so intense in one week it's really hard to uh, to make sense and everything felt so surreal and now things are uh, starting to to, uh, to sink in properly um, yeah, I feel much better, and, and I, I can I am better in con I'm I'm in better control of my emotions. So yes, so that's day six, and so is day seven of my self quarantine or self isolation period, and of and obviously now I have more than enough food for to last me even longer than two weeks, and uh, one of the things I tried one of the approaches that I made is I I've uh, portioned my food and try not to eat too much so that my food can last longer. The problem is that with fresh produce is that it doesn't last very long. So I've got an example like the basil leaves I have over here, which I've been uh, trying to save as much as I can, but obviously it's not doing well. Um, yes, so I've get, tried to give it a bit water so it can last, but you know, obviously I don't have the screen thumbs, but, um, and then so I have some fresh fruits and one of the thing, one of the fruits that I really enjoy is the yellow nectarines, and uh, and my friend got me a, a more than a kilogram of, of fresh nectarines. So one of the ways I thought of upcycling my food uh, rather than wasting it 
is to make the nectarines into jams. So this week I'm going to make nectarine fruit jam um, and it's quite easy to make. All you need is just fruits. You can use, I'm using nectarines but you can use any kind of fruits you want. It's about 500 grams and you use two third cups of uh, sugar. Um, it's recommended to use granulated sugar but I do not have uh, those so I'm using whatever I have uh, available in the cupboard. So mine is brown sugar and you also need some vinegar So with the vinegar it helps balance out the uh, the, sh the sweetness of the uh, fruit um, And so you know put in more a bit more acid into it and balance out the flavor. So it's not too sweet Okay, so let's get started This can last basically for about one month and it's good to go for any jam spreads on breads, on scones, um, anything you like. So I've got some, you know, this is my substitute if I use butter, if I don't use butter. Um, so yeah, so I'm very really happy that I am I'm able to uh, do something like this. And then so it helps to be a bit more self-sustainable knowing that I can do uh, upcycle my food and make and make different kinds of um, varieties so hope you guys like this week's episode of my nectarine fruit jam i uh, hope you try it and it's pretty easy uh, one tip i would say is that um, rather than using vinegar why not try using balsamic vinegar it's actually quite nice i do like the taste i like the sweet and, and sour balance of it um, so if you like this episode this week's episode please hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And so it's good to know who you guys are and who are the subscribers. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao, ciao.